Hey everybody, this is Impact with Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon Corkscrew Follies. And uh, I guess the, the American Round broke down again. Holy smokes, this is breaking down every two seconds. It's on 10 second inspection. What the fuck? Uh, I'll ignore that for now. So what we got here is the baby drakes. You know, it's a little baby to our big drake. And actually I meant to change the color of this one. Uh, the wyvern was going to change its color from the blue car. To a green car and I think a green with like a yellow or gold yeah it looks more like a dragon and we're gonna make this uh... no I like the muted greens and yellows on that too we will do it like there we go now it looks appropriate with all the yellows golds, greens going on you know baby dragons baby a baby dragon it's almost got like a three rating because of going through that loop but this has gone up to a 6.08 because of this thing that i did here so you know cool impact knows what he's doing with the uh, with rides sometimes it's park design now the other thing we did was uh we have this thing over here that's popular fortress fun golf it's only 2.81 it's a little tiny compact mini golf that i made into a little garden area here in the corner get a little statue and a bunch of trees and bushes you know the greenery has never been so greener and I'm also giving away free balloons these are free 100% free balloons if you go golfing even though people who aren't golfing are coming here to get, grab the green balloons anyways so that much has changed uh, other than that I think I put like gentle rides throughout the park like the Camelot Circus which is it getting people it is it is some rides are just not generating any any lines, like, holy crap, this usually gener generates a ton of people, but it's not. And also the roller coasters aren't either. Oh, well, nobody's going on the roto drop because it costs a dollar. People are kind of fed up with me and my bullshit and charging money for these rides. Oh, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. One of the other problems, and it's a minor problem, is apparently there's not enough food in the park. And I'm like, put up all these bathrooms, put all this food. It's kind of hard to fit any more food. Why is there in this? Oh, because money. Obviously, money. We've got to have money. Nobody wants to pay money. Nobody wants to do that. They don't want to pay money to ride the rides at this point. They just want to ride them. I already made this coaster free. Is money a problem on this one too? No. Not yet. Air go round is somewhat money. You guys better have umbrellas. I have two places to buy. There are a ton of people in here. Just loving the rides over here in the Fortress Party Park. Um, how much is the. What? I'm not paying that much. Oh. The cinema used to be doing good, but I wasn't. <laughs> I've already got a park map. I wasn't paying attention. It is year three officially, and this is the end of the park. Well, we got a whole year ahead of us, but you know, I just wanted to show you guys some of the, the cool things over here that I built. These gentle rides, the one we started, and the one, the golf course. It really, that's all I wanted to show. I could have shown them at the end. I know I could have. Co impact was in a rush. Wait, is this? 10 minute inspections? Yes. I've got plenty of money. Shouldn't work. I never took out a loan for this place. But shit, I'm gonna pay off my whole loan. I know now I don't have plenty of money when I do that, but I just want to do it for the valued sake that it's good for the investment of the park to just repay the loan. The beautiful, beautiful loan. Again, going on the principle that we have to have money. I guess people are never gonna come back to this ride. They're coming back, those sucks. Well, I gotta make sure that I don't dip into negatives in this last year. So, I gotta have some rides generating money. I can't just set them all to free. I would love to, but I gotta make money somehow. How much should go for a charge? Dollar fifty? That's pretty good. Nobody wanted the roto drop pay like pay for that, so. Whoa! The Marigold Rounds line just filled up. 
after being completely empty. You know, I actually should be charging a dollar for this, so I am. I'm gonna get my dollar's worth. Thank you, swinging inverted ship in the middle of nowhere. The line for that was a pain to connect. Oh, Castle Climbers never lost its momentum. As a ride, it was popular. It just doesn't make a lot of money. Ironically enough. Shouldn't have really made the scrambled eggs line that long. It, it's, it, it just doesn't generate that many people. This guy's heading for Woodsy Reel when he was in the line for the other ride. I also have people in the park that have money because I was putting out a lot of posters going, well, I, you know, ad campaigns that said, hey, free entry to the park so you don't have to pay the price of the park, which is 40 bucks. I could charge more than that, but I'm not going to. I want people to be able to afford shit in the park. Whatever still does cost money. Forty-five. But that's my final offer. Extensive money gaining. Actually, with one zoom out, if you look around the fort now, how many lines I've connected into this area alone has really satiated the customer's hunger, in a sense. As you can see, these lines are packed to the brim. The, the, the motion simulator... No, well, the motion simulator isn't over here, but that one's also packed to the brim. But it's like, now that the... the uh, the cinema's free. They're gonna fill back up, fill that line up. We got lots of people lining up for the circus, which is this this line right here, this this line. I pointed to the screen at first, but you can see my mouse in this Let's Play. It's right there. See, Camelot Circus. It's pretty good. Everybody's going on. The Woodsy, Woodsy Reel is doing good. Again, pre-built design sometimes being your better design because people have already designed a ride that just fits into an area. Crooked House is a meme. We're not even gonna try. In general, it is not a good, gentle ride, even in a park where people like gentler rides. We got a lot of... Oh, this is broken? No, not this one. No, not the park entrance. Yeah, it is broken. Oh, no. Downtime. We don't want a lot of downtime on these rides. They already have long wait times in some regards. It's just not good. This rain is really killing me. Thanks, March, for having a lot of rain. It might be Coup Impact's birth month, but it is also Aquamarine. Which means there's a lot of water in March. It is the start of spring. Most people will tell you April's the start of spring. I tell you, shit. As soon as you see those March daffodils sprouting out of their buds, it is the start of spring. It is officially spring in your neighborhood. And I live near daffodils, so I should know didn't plant them myself. I think they're natural daffodils. Maybe people planted them a long time ago. Daffodils are quite hardy plants when it comes to bulbs. They, they'll, they'll come back to life someday. Did you ever notice how Coup Impact obsesses over plants a lot? Or, or did you notice that when I was gushing over Palmon and Lilimon back in Digimon World? I mean, hell, recording where I currently am, yeah, they're nearby. Oh, straight up. Maybe in the next room over. <laughs> no, sorry, I paused because I went and looked over at the door because I know where they're at. I'm like, ah, yes. That is exactly where I keep Palin. Because Palin isn't behind me anymore. <laughs> fun, fun fact. Always be careful where you keep your really precious things so they don't get damaged or tarnished if there's heavy rain damage to the house. Or, you know, anything like that. You know, storms? Storms are the devil. Storms of nature, storms of chaos. I mean, did we ever say that I was an agent of chaos back in the past? I want to zoom out more. I want to get the whole fortress in the picture. Look at that. That's that's a good zoom out right there. It shows you how much progress our park's made. I really don't know where else to go with this. I, there's still plenty of room left. But it's like, the only thing else I can think of is build another coaster. And we'd be coasting on that coaster for, like, no reason. We, we won. Park's really just over, and now it's the big waiting period. Which reminds me, um... I believe we have our bunny pole winner. I will say that now. 
So whenever this goes up, obviously the poll has probably been ended since then. And it's going to get interesting, so I'm going to have to invite Arino over some some help to uh, do that game. Uh, we, I also have to get it functioning, be real and honest with you. I, I actually haven't set up MAME for it. So, you know, cause I'm pretty sure that one won. And if it didn't, then Quimpact checked the results before this video, like the current standings. And then it changed, and I apologize, but I should... Oh shit, we got the reward for best roller coasters. Hell yeah! Look at these rewards. These parks, this park is just done. It's self sufficient. I can't even optimize it any further. Like I said, further optimization just gets us like 16,000 guests when we only needed like, well, 16,000? 16, 1,600 guests when we only needed 1,300 guests. So, I mean, 16,000 guests, I don't even know. You could probably achieve that with hacks. I think the record. And it's not even in this roller coaster tycoon. What is it like? Eight thousand nine hundred guests because of a cap. You gotta remember, guest cap exists. You can cap your guests. It depends on the number of rides that you have on screen. And every square and tile can only have a certain amount of assets on the screen before roller coaster tycoon goes. Oh well, there's too much going on. I crash. I've had Majesty crash like that. Too many things. Uh, I think it said reached max entity, uh, like dot entity dot something max, like overflow. And I said, oh shit, I crashed Majesty by letting it run all night in a kingdom that had wall to wall buildings across the whole map. And I was like, damn, I don't know if I should be proud of myself or be upset that I broke Majesty. Which I replayed Majesty and beat all of the base game levels. And left the northern ex expansions unbeaten just in case we do Let's Play Majesty. That is not a confirm. The, we, there's no yes or no we're going to go play Majesty. Because personally, Kumpak doesn't like the northern expansion. I don't like these scenarios. I hate the new mechanics. Uh, the Sorcerer's Abode is like a double-edged sword that costs a ton of money. And certain like aspects of... The newer things you can build, like the magic thing and the whole champions, feels like it never fucking works. It just doesn't work. It costs money. The mausoleum is the only good thing, but you pay out the ass to resurrect your already leveled heroes. It's it's a weird amalgamation. Also, the mission goals are just annoying. They pit they pit you against like dark kingdoms. They put you against like a whole bunch of assholes. They put you in against Ratman Clan versus Goblin Clan, and that map just is a Zerg rush on both ends that kill you instantly. It feels like if, if you're not abusing the Resurrect system, you're abusing the Temple of Krom, which means you can't have any other temples anyways. So Krom plus Warriors, yeah, it's pretty good, but it's not as good as Paladins in the long run. Yeah, Kumpak knows what he's talking about a little bit. I'll open up the finances for you. Like, we're doing pretty damn good. Company value is good. Everything is good. I mean, other than the roller coasters are fairly old, I guess we can attempt to build, like, a steeplechase. Yeah, but steeplechases, this is the problem with them. They got a low input-output on guests, and more so, they take up a lot of freaking room. It's like... I remember building a steeplechase in Bumbly Beach all the way back in the day, don't you? I can't even build the pre-built design, so, you know... It's probably because of sort, uh, supports anyways. Steeplechase can't have high supports, and getting two of the same roller coaster actually afflicts a penalty. Your part. Wait, it popped up for a second. I can build this here? What? You know what? We've already done it. It's in the park. Slip and die. Because <laughs> there's a high chance that this will just kill people. I mean, I'll charge a dollar for you to go on a ride and die. Just hand it down. Oh, 
I'm like way too high. You, could you guys get off the path, please? Oh, I'm out of time. So this has been Queen Pact with Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, and zarabble. Meanwhile, I'm gonna connect this path appropriately instead of whatever the fuck I just blindsidedly did. There we go. And there we go. Slip and die is open. I will see you guys all next time.